all the hail and winds and flooding from last night's storm, hundreds of families north of the river spent the day cleaning up. Today, Northlanders told us how they're still riding out the storm. Christina Medina has our top story. Good evening. We spoke to a preacher who says the storm could destroy his church, a man who says he had a river in his backyard, and a woman who had a tree come crashing down on her house. But tonight they all tell me they're just glad no one got hurt. See those pictures right there of the birds? My bed's right under there. Debbie Mathis, who lives on Lister, north of the river, is trying to save whatever she can. There was a big boom, it was like a bomb. I thought it was lightning first. But it was her neighbor's tree that came crashing down on her bedroom. I just have to be washed up. The storm woke her up, so she was downstairs when the crash happened. Uh, I'm very relieved that I wasn't there when that happened. Debbie's story is just one of many after the overnight mess brought in hail, high winds, Flooding. Oh, my yard looked like the Missouri River. I mean, it was just rolling through here. Jim Buckley lives on Northeast 52nd Street, where the water was so intense, the pavement buckled. We, we've lived here about eight years, and it's the first time it's about six inches up on our front door. That was the only place water came in, was through the front door. We didn't think this was in danger. And the Maple Park Baptist Church on Northeast 54th Street took a major hit. That stump sitting there was 150 feet up here. The fast-moving water shifted the church's foundation. The preacher says it could soon topple over. I can't risk my people's safety here. Wouldn't want to do that. So what we've worked hard for to try to keep going as a mission is now out of business. While the cleanup continues, people like Debbie Mathis. I'm just uh, amazed I had left the bedroom because usually I don't. <laughs> are just glad the storms didn't bring even more damage. And as for Debbie Mathis tonight, she says it could take six months before she can get back into her home. Regardless, she says again, she's glad no one in her neighborhood got hurt. Live in the newsroom, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.